Hi YouTube, this is Miro. In this part we are going to look at pre-requirements and set up our development environment. To keep up with this course you will need to have installed Visual Studio, .NET Core 2 and optionally Git. I can highly recommend installing Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition, it's free and installation template includes also .NET Core 2. So let's install Visual Studio 2017. So now go to your browser, open visualstudio.com, go to the download section and download the community edition. When the download is done, open this file and confirm and we can start with installing. So now we have to select .NET and also .NET Core and then wait some time and now we can install. And the installation is done. I will start the Visual Studio now. I don't want to register myself. So I click on register later. So and there is your Visual Studio up and running. And now we can try out the final project. You can do it either with Git or without. Let's do it first with Git. So I will close the Visual Studio and open the browser again. Open my GitHub repository. I will provide for you the link to this repository in the video description. Click on clone or download and copy this link. Now let's create some folder for this project. Now press F4, then Ctrl A and CMD, enter. And this will open your command prop in the same folder. Now let's tip first git version. My git is missing, so I will install it now. I will provide this link also in the video description. Go to the downloads and for Windows and the download start automatically. Now I can install. Now I can type again git version or arrow up and enter and still nothing. So I will close this command line and open once again and type again git version and there is it. Now I can type git clone and the URL for my repository and enter. Now I can close this command line and open my project and the whole data is there. Now I will delete it and download it without using git. Once again, go back to the browser and go to my git repository. Now click on clone or download and download as zip. Then you can open the zip, go one level up unzip the package and there is the final project. Let's check if everything works. I will open the solution with my Visual Studio 2017. I will run the project with F5. Now you can play with the project on your own and your environment is ready to go. And this is everything for this part. Thank you for watching, subscribe and see you in the next part.